hello guys welcome back so we have created the login but right now if we will log into the app then we will get this message we will get user login successful but it should take us to the profile activity so this is what we will be doing in this video so first we will create a new activity in our project so come inside your project and inside your package right click go to new and then select empty activity okay let's name it profile activity and hit on finish so we have the profile activity now when the user will log in successfully we will open this activity so come inside login activity again and in this if where the login is successful then remove this toast we don't need the toast anymore now here we will start the activity so we can simply call start activity and then pass the new intent and get application context and the activity we want to open and that is profile activity dot class so now this will open the profile activity let's test it so go to login put login and password and hit login and this is the profile activity which is currently it is currently blank now we will also finish the current activity using finish method or else when the user will press the back button he will again see the login activity and it should not happen so i have called finish now inside profile activity we will again check if shared pref manager dot get instance dot is logged in if the user is logged in and we will put a not operator here so if the user is not logged in that means the user is not logged in we will stop this activity and we will start the login activity now if the user is already logged in he should not see the login activity so come inside main activity and here we will check if same thing and we'll check is logged in then we will finish the activity and we will start new activity this and profile activity dot class now you can write return so the control will not come to execute these we don't need these when the user is already logged in and i guess this is it inside login activity as well check if user is already logged in then we will start the profile activity and finish this activity and we will also put return here so that's it now if we will open the app it will directly open the profile activity because the user is logged in so we will keep seeing the profile activity until we don't log out from the app so we will create the logout functionality in next video so this is it now let's display the information in profile activity so we can use some text to use so i am creating a linear layout match parent wrap content wrap content now we have username so we can display the username and one more text view to display the username and this text view should have an id 
so we will write text view user name and one more thing we can display set orientation as well so let's copy it and paste it now we can put user email and text view user email so we have username and user email now come inside profile activity java and here we will define the text views so again the same thing so that's it now open now initialize these views so we have text view username equals to text view find view by id r dot id dot text view username and the same user email change this as well user email now we will display the username and user email of currently logged in user to these text views so we can use shared preference manager again we have we have to modify it to get the current username and user email so you can write here public void get user name and public void get user email Now we can copy this to make it quick and we will return it should be string the username is string so return shared preferences dot get string and we will return the key username if the username is not available we will return null same for user email copy these lines paste it here and write key user email and make the return type as string so we have string so that's it now we will use these two methods to get the username and user email so again come inside profile activity and we will write text view text view user email dot set text and we will call set preference manager dot get instance and then we will get the user email and same for user name change it to username and that's it now let's try running the app again so we have username and user email we can design it a little bit to make it look good so come inside activity profile and for the username i will make text appearance too large and same for the email that's it now make the linear layout on center vertical and make it true now this will look a little good but still you have to work a lot in designing of the application so this is looking good for now so we have username and user email of correctly logged in user so that's it for this video friends and in the next video we will create create the logout option for this application as we can't log out now so 
if you are liking the video please hit on the subscribe button and like the video as well and uh, if you are having any confusions you can leave your comments and i will get back to you as soon as possible so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video